it says we're live. Let me get my chat popping here. Happy birthday, Eileen. Look at you have little balloons on my table. And look at who's they're hanging off of. Your friendly flamingo. We'll put them back so they say happy birthday, Eileen. So, huh? Hang on, my computer is not working. It says it's still waiting for me. Huh? That's weird as hell. Anyway. If on YouTube, just scrub through this until you see something happening. I'm just trying to get this um, other computer working so I can see chat. <laughs> okay, now Eileen finally responded. Strangle him. It's right around his neck. Hello. Look at him. He's practically dead already. I'm going to send him to you so you can give him some mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. <laughs> Trash art for Eileen, yeah. She loves trash art. Okay, let me start by saying hi to everybody. Hi, happy birthday, Eileen. Hi, Kat. Hi, Terry. Hi, Judy. Hi, Gail. Lena. Hi, Joy. Hey, Z. Thanks for coming, you guys. Really, today I just intended to hang out with Eileen for her birthday. I'm not going to sing because Alexa already did it over at um, Colleen's house. Hi, Kimberly. I was really afraid I was going to have to sing, though. Hi, Dorothy. So I think Eileen should tell us about her childhood and the days before, you know, when they still used horse and buggy and had outdoor toilets and stuff, I think we would all learn a lot from her if she would just do that for us. Before telephones and all that. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Joan. Hi, Laura. Hi, Azure. <laughs> Especially the outdoor bathrooms part, Eileen. Hi, Katie girl. Come on, spill it, girl. Actually, there's a couple things we're going to do today. Um, well, one, we're going to get this camera fixed. And then I need you guys' help. Um, I am going to do the um, scavenger hunt this New Year's Eve. And... Um, Oh my God, I just read chat and I, I, she took the words right out of my brain. A perfect child and a perfect adult. OMG. Hi, Mindy. Hi, Shauna. Um, Lena Singh, the adult art wagon. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Um, yeah, I'm going to do the scavenger hunt again. And coming up with these prompts, you guys, is not as easy as you think. So I was hoping you guys could help me complete this list a little bit, and then we'll move on to trash art. And I'll have to take the flamingo and the balloons away. Perfect adult. Are we giving you some prompts? Yes. Yeah. You want me to read what I have so far, and then you guys can start screaming out some other ones. I thought originally when I started making this list that we were going to use that book that Colleen and Kathy are going to make on their stream in the morning of New Year's. And, um, oh, God, Lena's going, I'm game. She wants to help us out. Hi, Dee Dee. Um, so, yeah, if you guys could just 
scream out some things and I'll go over the ones I have. And I haven't looked at um, the list from previous years yet. I did get out my scavenger hunt books though. No flamingos, <laughs> but look it. They're, they're going to carry the flamingo off, Dee Dee. They're going to carry him probably down to Boca or someplace. <laughs> Hi, Elaine. I hope I haven't forgotten anybody. Hi, Colleen. Good stream this morning. Your um, painting was so cute. Hi, Sharon. You got a great prompt. You have to add a fingernail clipping. Okay, I'm that bad boy on there. <laughs> It'll be number one. Now, keep in mind, when I do these um, these prompts, this is like a jumping off point, right? Um, hey, can you call Eileen and have her come on for a few? Eileen, do you want to come on for your birthday? I'll call you on the phone. But, okay, the truth is, um, this is a jumping off point. You can get as creative as you want. You don't have to do a fingernail clipping, but you could conceivably draw one. I think I, in one of my um, scavenger hunts, I can't remember which one it was, I drew a hand with painted red thing. Oh, we had to use fingernail polish. Fingernail polish could be another good one. Only we'll add it later. See, I mix them all up. So as you think of things, scream out. You guys have to help. No body parts. No, we don't want the whole body parts. Eileen, do you guys want to, do you want to talk to these people? She said, no way. So think about it. I'll read off what I have so far. Fingernail clippings. Thank you, Eileen. I put Eileen in parentheses behind that so I know who. And then postage stamps. You knew I was going to include that. And food packaging and flowers, a page of circles, use a stencil, include a cartoon character, include an ATC, yours, or a fib exchange, um, incorporate a checkerboard. She'll sit and watch. Okay. We got to have a page of cheese. All right, cheese. <laughs> cheese. Um, a brochure from your area, a ribbon, a ruler, a puzzle piece, an insert out of a magazine. Oh, paint skin. That would be a good one. All right, keep hollering them out and I'll write them down. Calligraphy, a baby wipe, a piece of your own art. Um, use the color you dislike. You have to do a page of white, a page of swatches, candy wrappers, money, real or pretend. Um, vegetable, fruit stickers. That's been in the others from years past, but it's a good one. Um, something out of your trash can, a stick fig figure, inspirational word or quote. Fingernail polish, stamped images, a greeting card, newspaper, magazine, article, and that's as far as I've gotten. Okay, I've got ruler on here, Kimberly, and you can do with that what you want. You can do the whole ruler, you can draw it, you can photograph it, doesn't matter to me. Dee Dee should just take down that piece of crap ruler that she um, uses on her stream. Because it is not a ruler. Okay, a tribute to someone. That's kind of a good idea. I like that. <laughs> Mermaid. Oh, God. This book was made for Z then. The clear ruler. Yeah. Like, I don't know how you measure with that thing. Favorite book. 
I should have done this. Favo R I. A song with meaning. Should have let you guys do this all along. Babe shoes. Shoes are unusual. I'm just going to put favorite or unusual. Amazon logo. That's a great one. You'll have a whole book of nothing but that old photo. Um, mail or old stamp. Well, I have a card. I can, we can just put mail in there. Um, oh, ET's Amazon password. Oh, that would be awesome. Vintage ad. Ooh, that would be, that'll be hard, but we'll. Look, we already have a full page. Oh, we rock, we rock, we rock. All right. Flamingo. Well, then Eileen won't participate. All right. While you guys are screaming out, I'm going to drink coffee. Some type of Roy. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm just going to put Roy. That would be awesome. <laughs> And if you don't know about Roy, um, you need to go to Lena's channel, Miss Lennox 2010. Um, she's in chat. You can just click on her name and go watch her stream from last New Year's Eve streamathon. I promise you, it will be time well spent and you will laugh until you cry. Cookie cutters, that's good. I'm not going to be using mine this year because I'm not making cutout cookies this year. We're not doing chewed bubble gum. <laughs> How about a, an imaginary? See, the thing is, Lena, unless you watch Joycey, that is not going to make any sense. Um, I'll put bug finger on here, but bug finger... Um, is so specific to Joycey. It always goes back to Roy. Yes, it does. Nope. Stream is deleted. Got plagued with inappropriate content. Oh, no. So never mind. Um, make a stencil. Um, Roy is a blow-up plumber. who is not necessarily wearing clothes. Oh, I'm so sad they took that down. That was one of the funniest streams in the history of YouTube. Okay, um, on the postage stamps, I'll just include real or personal design. I wouldn't mind doing another um, ATC swap where we, did I do draw an eye? Yeah, I did. Um, where we create our own postage stamp. That was a really fun ATC swap. He was wearing a hat. Yeah, he was, Judy. Yeah, well, Didi, some of them might get um, taken out anyway. I'll think about them after we... Um, put all this list together and then decide, you know, if it's appropriate, if it's too hard, if people understand, blah, 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 you know, put your hand or foot in paint, a hand or a footprint. That's a good one. One of the funnest ones we ever did, and I wish I could find it quick. I did one of the prompts on stream and um, we had to fold a paper airplane. Baby Yoda. He's hot right now. 
you can certainly find a picture or draw him. Yoda actually is on my list of things to draw. Hi, Jilly. Gilly. Jilly. Jilly. I just told somebody the other day how to pronounce that. Yeah, I don't think it was inappropriate at all. I thought it was perfect. But, well, I don't know. Mattress or pillow tag? Um, that was on our first list. I'll put pillow tag. But the, um, the dry cleaning, I'm going to add the dry cleaning tag again. Um, because that was just fun to create. A dress form. When you can't read your own writing, it's bad. Yeah, I like the dry cleaning too. An old dress pattern. And you can usually find those um, at thrift shops. Um, page out of a children's book. Because you can usually find those really cheap at a thrift shop. All right, you guys, we're doing good. Keep throwing out the ideas. You don't take thongs to the dry cleaner? What, do you just, you have disposable thongs? You just take them off and throw them in the trash? Oh, wait, Eileen, you're confused. We're not talking about the pens. <laughs> apron, that's funny, Penny Girl, because I wrote down apron yesterday. Not for this, for something else. Make a tag. A tag is always good. <clears throat> and I try not to um, include specific products. Um, she has candy thongs. <laughs> Edible ones. <laughs> Oh my God, that's so funny. But anyway, I was saying something. Um, I don't know if I put envelope on here. Let's go ahead and I'll weed out the duplicates. Envelope with stuff. Um, I'm just gonna put wrapping paper on here. Stop. slash tissue paper. Everybody will have that. But yeah, I try and, and not use, let's say, specific products or something like that. I want you to use what's in your um, environment. I don't want you to have to go buy stuff or anything like that. And if you can't find something in your environment, you can draw it, you can create it. Something with foil. Oh, yeah. Since I'm foil challenged, I'm just going to put foil. I did. I have animal somewhere. Um, I think I wrote down animal. Didn't I write that down? If I didn't, I had thought about it. All right, we're going to do it anyway. Okay, another one I just, I thought of, but I hadn't written down was a mind map of a color, and you get to choose your color. I'll put animal, animal print together and give people choices. Because I think mind mapping a color is a good one. Oh, bubble wrap. And bubble wrap, I would say you can, and I'll go over these all again, Christmas or New Year's Eve. Bubble wrap. Um, I would imagine either the actual bubble wrap or just using it as a tool. Hi, CB. We're coming up with a list of um, stuff for the scavenger hunt, CB. So if you think of something... 
holler it out. We're doing really good. But I originally started out with 100 because I thought we were going to use the book that Kathy and Colleen were making. And it had a lot of pages. I mean, it's going to be a big journal. And um, thank you, Judy. Um, but I think in years past, let me look how many prompts I've used in years past. This is um, last year's. Actually, look at the scavenger hunt is my last year's scavenger hunt is actually trash art that we're going to do today. Hi, Jean. Here's stuff that's left over from last year's. So let's see. Last year, it seems like I had about 70. I didn't number them, but it seems like there were about 70. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 35. Yeah, so last year there were 70. And I'll do something exactly like this again this year. Um, so, and if you're new um, to the FIB group, I don't know why my picture is so funky. Um the last couple of years, I've done a scavenger hunt for the New Year's Eve streamathon, and I'm going to do it again. And we're just coming up with um, the prompt list. And last year, I loved the one to create a t shirt saying so you can be irreverent or nasty or anything you want. Leftovers from last year could be a page. It could be. Yeah, it was 70. Um, in fact, I'm going to do that as number one. That's going to um, really blow people away. I really like borders. Yeah. Create a border. We're going to get to use borders in um, Dee Dee's composition book, though, too. Washi tape. Honor roll. That's cute. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, cool. Got it, Kathy. Yeah, it is. Pretty good birthday party turnout for a not scheduled stream, right? Thanks, Dee Dee. I already got a thumbs down. It doesn't matter. Give me all the thumbs down, all the thumbs up you want. Q-tip paint marks. Oh, that's interesting. Paint with Q-tips. And see, I try not to do like um, specific products either because I don't want people to um, feel like they can't participate if they don't have the products. That was probably ET. Look at there's two. Somebody else just did it. <laughs> Draw what is right in front of you. Draw what you see. Well, you know what mine will be? Mine will be this coffee cup. This coffee cup is forever. I have light of them. I'm buffering. Anybody else buffering? All right, there. Buff Wild card. Um, your choice. That'll be good because um, just rest. Okay, good. Because I'm going to say my internet is so strong. I can't imagine. Playing card or jigsaw piece. I already got a jigsaw piece. Um, 
Well, I did a puzzle piece. And actually, if you don't have a jigsaw puzzle that you want to trash out, you can draw it. Every so often, a domino. I'll make a whole thing of domino washi tape. Um, a bingo card. That's another good one. Bingo. So we're getting at 70 now. Let's just get a few more and then I can weed some out, Moose Poo. <laughs> and I still can think of some too. Um, I'm going to glue in a Domino's pizza ad. There you go, Kathy. It really, because the whole thing is outside the box, you know, getting out of your comfort zones, doing something different. Um, like one year I did pretty note paper. Um, the wanted poster, you know what? We're doing another wanted poster because the wanted poster, um, that was so much fun. Everybody did such a good job on the wanted poster. Let me look through this last one. The random useless fact was good. So you ha have to go out and search of it. We had cheese last year, Lena. Picture of a place you'd like to visit. I'm going to, for that one, going to put a picture of an old folks home. Because I want to go visit Eileen. <laughs> Eileen's been drinking since yesterday. I also like the upside down page. Right. Okay. A two line poem, self authored. I just made up my poem. There was an old bat named Eileen who had a birthday. That's my poem. Happy birthday. <laughs> We've got junk mail. <laughs> Eileen, I love just picking on you. I wish you'd let me call you and let Robert talk to you. He'll call you precious and stuff. Hey, Eileen, have you gone and checked your um <laughs> have you checked your mail today? Both email and um USPS. <laughs> My poem, you suck, I don't. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> All right, are we done with this? We're running out of ideas. Something with sequins. Sequins is good. All right. Chat has stopped. Ideas for what I show up for trash art. Oh, Angry Rabbit. We're um, just coming up with prompts for a scavenger hunt. Finger painting. Yeah, we're going to do trash art here in just a minute. Picture of a vegetable that you collage from other things. Picture of a vegetable. Vegetable collaged from, I'm just going to put stuff. I don't know. Make a tag like Focus You Freak in a pocket to insert it in. Yeah, we already have create a tag, but we ha haven't included a pocket yet. Pocket for K. 
tag. Okay, we got it. <clears throat> Gold leaf. We have foil, Kathy. I don't get mail till after 6 p.m. In fact, they didn't deliver me yesterday till this morning. You have the most rotten post office in the world, Eileen. Well, be sure and check your mail today anyway. Hi, G. Brody. All right. We have 79. and You guys can keep sending me ideas, um, but I probably will whittle it down to mm, probably around 70 again because this is how big my book was from last year. And I think I did, even though I didn't check them off, I think I did all but one of the prompts. I didn't do the Zentangle, which I could do in a minute. But last year we had Draw a Rose, something that depicts perspective. So I'll go through these and I'll, um, I'll come up with a number that is reasonable for all of us. The fingerprint bees were fun. I love, I love those. So... I might have to include some from last year. Toilet paper flower. Those are fun. But see, like when I do mine, I put a lot of prompts on one page. Cost boss. Check out that, Lena. Look what I opened to. Deja poo all over again. Roy was here. For a good time, call Boca Babe. Hashtag it's all Eileen's fault. So a lot of mine, I put multiple things on one page. Um, these were the autographs. Those were fun too. Forever Young, Much Love, Rod Stewart. Here, George Clooney wrote me, Brains and Beauty, girl, you got it all. To a total babe, love. I can't read whoever it was. Oh, okay. And here's one from Queen Elizabeth. I hereby bestow upon you the lifelong title of Janet, Princess of the Monkey Island Empire. Best wishes, Elizabeth, Queen of England. This was a good page. This was a fun page. This one, I love doing this one too. Oh my gosh. I forget how much fun this was last year. This was trash. That was washi tape. So, yeah. Look, there's all of Lena's um, paints. Cost boss, big cheese. <laughs> Jen's royal mess. Joyce's moose poop. Ass hat dark. Oh, my God. Lena, you are too damn funny. This was my upside down page. Yeah. It was just fun. Just fun. Now it's fun to look back on it. I haven't done it in forever. Here's a tag. If called by a panther, don't answer. Ogden Nash. All right. Something with stitching. That's kind of fun. All right, we've got some good ones. Let's make some trash art. This is kind of what last year's looked like. And I don't remember. I think it was a page of magicals that I started working on top of. But this year I thought I have bought this um, journal at Hobby Lobby. And it's... Um, I was going to cut it down before I used it, but it's got real, real light dot grid ivory paper in it, and I love it so much. So I thought, okay, I'm going to make the cover of this really pretty. How about that? And I, I am that lonely leaf swaying upon that dying branch, waiting for the wind to tempt me along, hoping to dance for as long as it seems, until the day I descend, resting out the clay decaying. There you go, Angry Rabbit. Man, Angry Rabbit, you were made for this. <laughs> I 
All right, I'm going to put that aside. If you think of another one that needs to be added on there, speak up or forever hold your peace. Let's start doing some trash out. We're going to trash out. We're going to move the balloons and the flamingo. Say goodbye to your BFF, Eileen. I'm going to move him so he doesn't get trashed out and all the matte medium and junk. He might come back. All right, you too, Bob. You got to go. All right, here is my bucket of trash that Eileen makes me keep. I might start with a light color. And then I have a bunch of circles and cutouts from circles. Yeah, this is all. Flamingo funeral. <laughs> we did a bottle cap one year, Michelle. Um, that was a hard one to get, actually. And then the following year, because the bottle cap was so darn hard, we ended up just doing a, a pull tab. All right. I'm just going to rip this stuff up and put it down first so we have a place to start from. And then we'll start adding all the trash and junk on there. And these were, I don't know, pulls from a gel. I don't know where these came from, but they weren't anything I was ever going to work on top of. So it didn't really matter. All right, and all I'm going to do is get my glue brush and a rag. And start gluing junk down. Hopefully I don't get, I put deli paper on the book itself, so hopefully I don't, um, Trash out the inside pages, but I know me, I get arting, and next thing you know, everything's trashed. This is acrylic paint, so it won't move. Some of this stuff, I don't know what it is, so it could be movable. Who knows? I don't know. We'll just find out. But this is really just gluing down trash. That's pretty much what trash art is, but it always comes out cool. Ask Eileen, she'll tell you. All I'm doing here is getting some, Eileen, just because it's your birthday doesn't mean I won't hit you, okay? I'm just saying, put them down in a straight line. Really, she brings out the absolute worst in me. Just when I think we're going to be really good friends, she says something really stupid that makes me want to hit her. But I will abuse you on your birthday just like I do any other day. Doesn't matter to me. And don't use I'm old as an excuse. I'm old doesn't count for crap in my world. Hit her with a ruler. Oh, believe me. Believe me. If you think I haven't thought of it. Oh, I wish I was her Catholic nun. Here, put your hands on this, sweetheart. Smack. And just to start incorporating some trash here and there. Takes a lot of matte medium. See, I didn't even put it on straight there, Eileen. So I'm waiting for all those um, childhood stories, Eileen. That one's never going to lay flat. I'm going to cut it off. Oh, 
horse and buggy and all that stuff. Crooked rules. This is so much fun, far better than the nonstop election. Oh, we talk nothing about that here. That's why you have to have YouTube and Netflix. Otherwise, you'd go insane watching TV in the United States. Ah. Sorry, you guys. One, I look at the screen on the computer that I'm streaming off of, and I'm dead center. Then I look at the one that I'm looking, I'm watching on, and um, reading chat, and they're not even the same. Some of this stuff you guys might recognize from previous streams. Oh, now this has magicals on it. It's going to move. That's okay. We'll just do it lightly. Pushing this down, trying to get it to stick. Because that one was kind of like cardboard. I watched The Unbelievable on Netflix yesterday. Unbelievable. Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. I'm still watching Downton Abbey. And um, I got to a really sad part last night. So I have to take a break for a while. It's a TV series from Netflix. Okay, I'll look for it, Eileen. Because so far, honestly, you have not led me astray when it comes to cool stuff on Netflix. Or Amazon Prime. I really like that. Um, what was it? Um, Harry Kaber? I really, really like that. That was enjoyable and I didn't feel like I was wasting my time of course normally when I'm doing that I'm um I'm doing something else too usually drawing I have to save okay that those two oranges have to go on the back so I need to put some green down here So, Eileen, tell us, are you going out to dinner for your birthday? Are you just going to hang with us? Do you have any other plans? To me, usually a birthday is just another day. The only difference is I buy myself anything I want. What did you buy for yourself? You just binge watched Downton Abbey before the movie came out? I want to watch. I want to see them. Um... The movie for sure. The Downton Abbey movie. Yeah. Um, I just, oh, you guys, I just can't hardly get to the theater, though. I just can't stand a theater. But there's another one I want to see. I want to see the um, movie that um, Dennis Prager has just come out with. All right, I'm going to add some different stuff here now. Here's a shock of color for you. All right, I know Eileen's going to have a fit if that's too straight, so I have to tear it. 
but keep in mind there's going to be other stuff going on top so you bought lots of stuff i don't even know i tried to think of something to send eileen for her birthday and honestly eileen i was the first thing was when I saw Barb's stream a week ago and all that Seth after stuff was stuff was coming out. I was like, okay, I'll order, I'll get her some of that Seth after stuff. Well, it doesn't come out until January. So it was just like, well, okay, do I send her a IOU? That sucks. So yeah. So she'll figure it out when she goes to her email later I'm trying to make this colorful cover that pissy pink <laughs> it'll get covered it'll get covered don't be getting all your panties in a wad here This is all fairly thin paper that I'm putting down first. Um, when you add the um, the other stuff on top, you start getting a lot, a lot of texture. Like that one that I put down, that was really thick. It's almost worse than cardboard. Just hold your horses there, Eileen. Yeah, see, that one's really thick, too. So I'm going to add this down here. All right, there isn't much of the original stuff showing. This Eileen's, I sent something for her pool boy. I hope his paint is better than the ones they make now. Um, you know, I don't know what um, Barb showed on her stream because she had gone to a, um, a class with him in her own hometown. Um, they were showing inks. Um, from an ink company in the UK, I believe. And um, they look pretty cool. The thing is, you know, and I, I don't blame the guy for trying to make a living or make a buck off his products at all. Um, I wish somebody would pay me to put my name on something. But I think for what you're getting, are you paying for the name? And that's what I always wonder is, are you really getting something of value, you know, a better value, or are you just paying additional for the name? You guys can tell me your thoughts on that. But that's what I think about, like, um, now, mind you, I love, love, love his art. I love his art. Hi, Julie. Had to kick out a troll. Are the kids out of school? I think so. Maybe. That I want for the back. All right. Now we're going to start adding some of these trash pieces. We'll start getting some serious. I need to wash this brush, though, because it's starting to get contaminated with some color. I'll use my watercolor water. Um, yeah, I don't know how he got back in.
Get a life, people. Of course, coming from the woman who keeps the social security guys on the phone for 15 minutes. I got a phone call the other day. It was during a stream. I don't remember who was streaming. But you know those people who call from Social Security? <laughs> Told me all my benefits had been suspended because of fraudulent activity on my um, Social Security account. So I don't know. I had a stroke of genius. And he asked me my name. And I thought, well, you probably know my name. You called me, you dope. But I didn't say that. I told him my name was Alice M. Montgomery. And um, he asked me for, he literally asked me for my social security number. And um, so I said, well, which one do you want? And he, he was just kind of like taken aback, I think, because <laughs> I said, because I have multiples. I have one that I use at home and then I have one that I use when I travel so which one do you want and he was so not expecting that answer you could tell and um, he knew I was ready to give him a number anyway but anyway so the conversation went on and on and Finally, an opening came up and I told him that I had gone on the greatest trip. And on my last trip, that's how I introduced it was, well, on my last trip, I used this one when I went to Wonderland. And so I told him the whole story of Alice in Wonderland, pretending like it was me. And I told him all about the people I met. While I was in Wonderland, I told him about the cat and the bunny and... Um, I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. And I mean, I just was throwing all this crap out there. And he kept trying to get like a word in edgewise. And I just wouldn't let him. I was just like, oh, wait, I forgot to tell you about the the cards when they were playing games. And it was so awesome. If you ever get a chance, you've got to book a trip to um Wonderland, only you're going to have to learn to speak better English because your English isn't that good. <laughs> no, I was talking about Alice in Wonderland. And at the same time, I was um, finding fault with his poor English. Um, I swear, I had so much fun. It made me happy the whole rest of the day. But I figured, you know, because he's not going to fool me. I mean... I'm not that old and stupid yet. Eileen, let me caution you about, <laughs> about the social security people that call. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's not going to fool me. But if I kept him from um, calling one other vulnerable older person, I'm all for it. But it was fun. I had so much fun talking to, his name was Victor, I think. And I kept calling him Victor, or I sometimes I'd call him, did you say your name was Dan? Am I talking to Dan this time? <laughs> I had so much fun. And then he finally hung up on me, butthole. Because um, I was really having fun. I would have stayed on the phone all afternoon with him. But he finally hung up on me, and I swear, it wasn't even an hour later, they called back. They called back. Oh, I was doing other things, Gail. It wasn't like I was just sitting talking to him. I was walking around doing other things, just, yeah, it wasn't like he took up my whole day or anything. All right, when I'm looking at this, it's got some nice color on it. All right, I'm going to add, start adding a few circles here and there because the circles are what make it really, really fun.
looking for fun circles here. Oh, that one I want where you can actually see it because I like it. I can tell a lot of this is magicals or spray something that's moving. Um, so when the matte medium starts getting um, dirty, I'm trying to clean it up a little bit. And I don't do it with all. Um, people who call, but the ones from India where they don't speak English, oh yeah, you are fair game. You call me, you are fair game. I didn't call you, remember? Your husband's sitting there listening and laughing. Well, you know, have you guys seen that joke where... Um, Things old people do when they're retired. That's some days how I feel. Is um, I want this one down here. Um, yeah, things I do just to entertain my bad self, and then tell you guys, of course, you know, because that's half the fun is being able to tell you that I got to jack with somebody for and keep them on the phone for 15 or 20 minutes so they could not bother somebody else. Mary used to fall for those people. So I think that's part of the reason I feel this incredible need to um, jack with them. Bottom left hand down here, starry night. I have some of that left. I'm going to save that for the back. But it's starting to look really fun now. When your eyes can't really um, focus on any one thing, that's when I really like it. And soon I should start probably darkening some of the edges of stuff. Trying to keep it pretty light, though. <clears throat> now, this is Pan Pastels. I don't know how it's going to work, but we're going to give it a go try see how it's going to go add some black in here quick huh eileen this is the trash these pieces that are left after you cut out the circles these are the things eileen this is how trash art started was this stuff, I was going to throw it away. And Eileen was, no, 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 you can't throw that away. It was like, why not? It's trash. No, 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 you have to use that. So here I am using the trash. But I actually end up liking the way it looks. And another question is, do you guys know... Um, what you're doing for Dee Dee's comp book challenge. I have mine and I've already started collecting stuff to use in it. And I'm really psyched about it. I even started a whole section of borders that I'm going to use in it. What time are you serving birthday cake? Um, right after dinner. <laughs> You're excited too, Kimberly? Yeah, I think when you come up with a, a theme that you're excited about, all of a sudden, like your brain changes and you start thinking, oh, that'll be cool. That'll be cool. That'll be cool. All right. Here's a fun one that I want because it's light. See, I, I green. I'm covering up some of the pissy pink for you. The pieces that look like that, you know, are magicals. You just know it. I'm not going to tell my topic yet. 
My topic is a secret. I think I told Dee Dee. But yeah, otherwise I'm kind of keeping it a secret until then. I was I started out, I was gonna do cartoons and cartoon characters because I thought that would be really, really fun. Um, and I still think that's a great topic. Um, but then I thought too, that's gonna take either a lot of printing out on my computer or a lot of drawing or whatever. And I'm going to give it the time that it deserves, but I can't spend all day every day working on it. Right. So I came up with something else that I think is going to be more expedient. Um, So, yeah, you started your first page of the DD project already. I've got my book and I've got the numbers page or the pages numbered. And Eileen is almost done. She glued all her pages together and only have to do the first page and the last page. Good girl, Eileen. I don't think Eileen does the scavenger hunt either. All right, looking in the. Um, computer screen I'm liking that this is really light colored and airy I'm liking that a lot and I'm I need to break up some of this down here maybe I'm afraid that yellow won't stay yellow that's all right I'm going to use it anyway And I'm going to leave some stuff hanging off the edge over here um, so I can wrap it around the back. But I'm not going to put a whole lot on the spine because I want the book to be able to open and lay flat. So I can't believe I let her talk me into keeping all this damn trash. I just need some light up here. This is cardstock, so um, cardstock is a little bit harder to stick down. But it eventually does, and I like it best because it gives you a lot, a lot of texture. Do I need five books for the comp project? No, just one. Angry Rabbit, you live in Australia in the Blue Mountains, New South Wales? Oh, wow. I haven't heard anything about the wildfires. Are they still going? Yeah, I, I'm liking the bright colors. They're good. I'm thinking here pretty quick, though. I'm going to start introducing some black. Not a lot, but a little. Because we still got to do some circles and some splatterage. Yeah, I want more circles on it. I know that. Some more red would be good, too. I want to see if the um, wildfires are still going because I, I can't remember the last time I heard about them. Well, last time I heard about them was when I talked to Jen, I guess, and asked her about them. I did hear from Jen yesterday because I had contacted her. And she says she's doing okay. So I think of her really, really often. Jen is one of our other friends that lives in Oz. And I do think about her a lot. 
I think about that whole trip to Australia a lot, actually. Yeah, I I had um I checked with her. She said she's doing okay, just has a lot going on. I think is how she worded it. Just have a lot going on. So I was like, okay, good. Take care of you. Um, I did tell her she could call me if she needed some expert advice, <laughs> which I thought was really generous of me. I don't know what she'd need expert advice on, but whatever it is, I'm sure I would be the expert. Yeah, Z, for sure. I, I, There's so many times I think of that trip and, yeah. Like, I don't know what made me think of it the other day. I thought of the dinner on the rail car. And I can't even remember what sparked the memory, but it was just like, oh, that was so much fun. I want to do it again. And at this stage, I start watching um, what is showing through. Um, like that big piece of red there, I need to um, break that up. When you win the lottery, I might just start robbing banks, CB. I think that's what I want to do. I think I don't want to wait to win the lottery. Well, part of my problem is I don't play the lottery. I'm not a lottery person. So, okay, I like this watercolor paper. The thing I don't like, however, is the straight edge. So I'm going to start altering some of this now to get rid of the straight edges. That one can't go off the back, though, because it's heavyweight. If you're going to do this, you really, really, really have to think about um, the weight of the paper. Like, you can't have cardstock going around to the back. So, that all works. Looking, looking, looking how, if I need to cover up some more of this. When I look down, this looks too boring in here, I think. I need to add something in there. I'll add one of these bright circles at the end of that. Yeah, that'll be good. I think um, when the matte medium got a little muddy, that center part, but that's okay. Just got dull. Maybe I could scan money. Oh, if, Jilly, if I could do that. Oh, I would just love that. Why don't you send me a gift card for a change, buddy? I actually, I shouldn't be such a butthole with those people. I'm not going to change, however, but I know they're just doing it to make a living. You know, like, can you imagine working in a call center knowing that what you're doing is scamming people? I, I, I just would absolutely despise myself for having done that. All right, going to break this up right here, put some yellow back in. The yellow definitely brightens it up. You'll co-pilot. <laughs> I think I'm going to, can't decide if it needs more. But like when you start getting pieces, just start showing out from underneath. That's why I do so many layers is because you start getting stuff poking out from underneath and then it starts looking way cool. That's too boring. God, I'm starting to sound like Eileen. That's too boring. 
I'm going to add some red down here. They don't care if they say we were all just dumb Americans for falling for that new scam. I suspect you're right, CB. And I, I think also, too, which this is not true, but I think they also believe that Americans, all Americans are rich and can afford to be scammed. What they're doing, I think they truly believe that all Americans are rich and can afford to be scammed. So they're that's how they can justify their behavior because all Americans are rich and they can afford it, which is BS, right? I can't remember. Oh, there's a channel. I can't remember the guy's names. I've talked to you guys about him before. Um, two guys, one of them's a Russian who, um, like scam the scammers, do the crap that I do. Try and keep them on the phone as long as possible. Um, he got one of them to talk one time about why he does what he does. And it, it's really, it's they're just trying to make a living. Um, And so I think that's one of the things that made me stop and think about, you know, ah, they're just trying to make a living too, like the rest of us. And that their bosses, you know, like literally are standing over them, listening to what they're doing. Hi, UFOs. I must be in the wrong America. How do I get to the rich one? Exactly, Susan. See, that's that's the thing is I think um, people around the world have a um, crazy idea of what the majority of Americans are like. You know, we work hard for a living just like everybody else. Um, we're not all filthy rich and we're not all living large. Um, but how do you change that perception? It's what they've been trained to think. Not to say that our standard of living is not very good. I mean, but when you look at what's happened all over the world, I think everybody's standard of living has improved. We don't have near the hunger or, you know, the poverty levels that the world has known for all of its history. I think everybody's life is improving, but that doesn't mean we're rich by any stretch of the imagination or that you should justify stealing from people. Know what I mean? All right, what got me going on that lecture? I'm trying to justify my poor behavior. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Scamming the scammers. All right, I can't tell if I've got enough layers on this. I could just sit and keep gluing stuff for hours, you know. This is really good with tissue paper. The problem is tissue paper is hard to cut out. You have no sympathy. Get a different job. I agree. Have you ever seen James Gatch? Where he replied to scam emails. Those are hilarious. No, I haven't seen them. But they're the kind of thing um, that I would enjoy. Just knowing me. Because I'm such a sick pup. Yeah, that's the sort of thing that I would thoroughly enjoy. All right, let me get something down here going off the page. I used a little bit too much matte medium.
I'll cut that off. All right, one quick coat and then I'll decide. Blow dry it and we'll glue on the back. Well, no, I think I'll dry this one and we'll go ahead and do the black circles and the edges. So, um, You can see one side finish because I don't know if I'll have time to finish the whole thing. So I'll try and get one side finished. All right. I'm going to heat gun it. Heat gun. I like it. It's really pretty. All right. Sorry for the noise. Mute if it's too loud. And all the papers that are around go flying when you hit turn the heat gun on. Bye, Z. See you tonight. If you're going to stream at 7, I'll try and remember to get there. Is this your scavenger hunt journal? Um, this is just a journal that I bought at Hobby Lobby, Eileen, or Elaine. I don't think I'm going to use it for scavenger hunt. I think I'm going to make an eight and a half by 11 inch folded in half. So it would be five and a half across, eight and a half down, and keep it the same size as all my other scavenger hunt books. This is a really weird size. I don't know, European people can tell me how big this one is. This one is about five and a half. Oh, maybe it is five and a half by eight and a half. I don't think so. Eight and a quarter. Huh. It's not too different. I might use it. Heck, I don't know. I really don't want to because it's got cool dot grid paper in it. It's almost dry. Thanks, Safia. Okay, thanks a lot, Lena. <laughs> I wouldn't know a centimeter for me in the ass. I'm not kidding you. Don't know the first thing about centimeters and all that stuff. All right. I'm going to, I think I want to use black. I'm just trying to think if I want to use some brown ink. Um, I think I'm going to stamp some little bit of brown script here and there. Because this is how you kind of can tie it all together at the end. Um, add some of the same elements just here and there. And then when I do the black circles and stuff, it really starts tying it together. Little things that you don't really notice. Um, 
Where's my cool white pen? We'll see. If I don't like it, I'll paint over it or something. Did Colleen tell you that you need dog nail clippers for the New Year's Eve streamathon book? No, I do have some though. I don't have a dog. I guess I could go clip the dogs, the neighbor's dog's toenails when they're outside. <laughs> Come here, Rover. Got a treat for you. <laughs> Let me see your front paws. That's one way to keep them from crapping in my front yard, right? <laughs> Clip their toenails, they'll never come back. Actually, I think word got out about me, you guys. Um, I think I told you about the neighbors that I took the bags out because they let their dogs crap in my front yard. Um, I know, it looks cool. Um, Well, this year, I didn't have near the problem. <laughs> they kept their dogs out of my yard. And I'm okay with that. I'll break that up here in a minute, Eileen. Who would have thought I would grow up to be that bitchy neighbor? Who has dog nail clippers but no dog? <laughs> I do, Safia. I had, I've had dogs all my life, life Safia. Only right now I have a cat. <laughs> and I always thought I would, um, at some point after the cat's gone, I will get another dog. I like dogs. I'm not sure I would ever have another cat. Um, yeah, let's leave it at that. Is that enough white? Dog owners that don't clean up are disgusting. Yes, I agree. But I think sometime I will a dog, a puppy ever again, I will adopt an older dog that needs a home um, either because owners have died or for whatever reason. Um, yeah. I, I don't think I'll ever get, I know I'll never get a puppy again. I'm not putting up with that puppy training crap, but I know that there are plenty of dogs out there whose owners pass on and, and then they're left alone. I would like to be a place where those dogs to live out their life. And I know I'm setting myself up because you get so attached to them, right? But they need people that love them too. So my, let me see if my settings changed because um, my picture quality just went to crap. So if your picture quality went to crap, check your settings. Get a bow doggy. Bo is so cute. Elaine has the cutest little. He's Maltese, isn't he, Eileen? He is the most adorable dog ever. Pure white, little furry ball of fluff. And honestly, he used to make coffee so much fun because he would just play and he was so much fun. But I don't want a puppy. 
don't want a puppy. No, I won't have a puppy ever again. And I know I've. Eileen is no Eileen. Jeesh, I'm sorry. Okay. I said Eileen probably, but I meant Elaine. It's hard having two friends with names that close. That's all I got to say. <sighs> all right. Now I'm going to do some circles. I just poured out some black ink. I hope it's India ink. It should be India ink. And just randomly add some. Nope. I'm going to do another size. Don't get a border collar. Way too much energy for old people. Yeah, no, I would definitely get... Um, like when Mary died, of course, Mary's, um, dog Tilly, um, Mary's daughter was a vet. So Tilly's living with, um, Jan now and Tilly's an old dog. Um, I would take a Tilly dog in a minute, just a dog that needs a home, needs somebody to love it, give it care. Um, yeah, I would do that but I'll never get a young one ever, ever, ever. What I would like if I could have any dog I want, I would have a um, blue healer. Blue healers are the best dogs here. My BF here is ET. I have two snows I adopted as pups, now 12 and 13. Yeah, see, I, and I'll, I'll adopt the older dogs. All right. Is that enough black? I need black down here. Sometimes I like incomplete circles, so I wouldn't. Looking in here, I don't want too much black. I almost wish. Well, another thing I could do, I think I will, because I love the Finnebear wax so, so much. I think I'm going to put some Finnebear wax, do a stencil on it, because I love the Finnebear wax. And I think, what color do I want? Do I want to use the red? I don't use the red very much. The light pink is really cool. Don't need every, any more green or blue on there. Okay, we're going to either use the the red or the pink. Or the silver might be nice, too. What colors you guys think? I'm thinking I might use that red. I haven't ever used that red. And since I've incorporated some red in this, it might be... Awesome. Last year you adopted your first dog. Daisy's only three, but doesn't require a ton of exercise. Yeah, well, I, I just don't want a dog, yeah, that's going to take a ton of time, you know, like where I'm going to have to walk it five times a day. I don't have a fenced yard, and I'm not going to fence my yard. Um if I had a fenced yard, I might think differently, but any dog I get is either going to have to be able to be outside on its own. But Tilly was perfect because she'd go out, do her business, and come right back. And she was perfectly happy that way. All right, I'm going to hit this with a heat gun so that black dries up. Won't take but a minute. That's 
all of it. Yep, it's dry. Pull up my sleeves because I'm about ready to get messy. And I'm going to stick with the circle theme we got going on here. Oh. <laughs> it's so nice that you, all you have to do is open the packaging and you're like immediately happy. Immediately. Now, do I want to put this on with a stencil and... Just thinking, there's two ways I could put this on. I could smush it through, which is going to leave the thickness of the stencil, or put it on with a brush. Thinking, thinking, thinking. I think I'll do the brush, because if not, it takes too long to dry. All right. The decisions I have to make. It's hard, hard. Sniff, sniff. I know, right? CB, do you have some of this? All right. I'm going to put it up here first, and then I'll decide if I like the brush technique or this um, palette knife technique. See, this puts down just a thin coat. Yeah, I like that. Can you see that? That bee's good. Oh, I don't like that. I'm going to clean that up as fast as I can. It made a mess. And you guys are talking about your pets now? Yeah, we won't discuss Roxy. Yeah. I did finally find a food that she likes. Well, she might, she likes it today. She might not like it tomorrow. There, be in there. Really, and this wax a little bit goes a long, long, long way. So, and the mistake I made up there, I think I had, I just had too much product. And this is, will just blend into the background. I don't even think you'll notice it when I'm done here. But it sure is going to smell good. That's nice. It's nice. All right, what else do I want? I want something in that red circle. <laughs> I think I'll put some white or the silver. That crap's like printer's ink. If you get it on you, all of a sudden it's everywhere. Everywhere. So beware. I'm hoping the silver 
And I think I'll use it with a palette knife since my little brush is all dirty now. It will be contaminated. But really, you guys, I've used a lot of this stuff a lot. And um, for real, a little bit goes a long, long way. Yeah, that's good. That broke it up. I would love to get a new fee to come up. Your shopping cart's full of crap when I move to the old folks' home. Yeah, just call me. I'll come over and move all your crap for you. Get the rat to help us. You're going to have to buy the entire nursing home, Eileen to fit all your crap unless they'll let you have a warehouse on site you think they'd let that yeah let you have that talk to your buddy jeff he'll set it up for you all right that's getting better when i talk about eileen's buddy jeff i'm talking about bezos Okay, that's good. One, two, three, four. I have to do one more. I'll put it, well, I hate to put anything here on this back edge because as the book's opening and closing, you know what's going to happen. So why paint myself into a corner here, right? And that has way too much texture on it. I'll move this in a little bit. So hopefully... The opening and closing of the spine won't hurt it. All right, I'm going to hit this with a heat gun. Janet the Newfie. Oh, uh, look at what I did. I knew when I left that there that that was going to happen. What the hell is the matter with me? Why do I not listen to those little intuitions that tell you, hey, dumbass, you leave that wet ink out there, you're going to have it all over everything. So now I have it all over the bottom of this. Ugh. Do you guys ever do that? Have those little intuitions? I had one about that ink sitting there. Ugh. That annoys me about myself. All right. Nothing was harmed, but it's still annoying as hell. I do it for you, Eileen. I'm a mess for you. The only reason I do this stupid stuff is because you're here, and I know it'll make you happy. God. All right, now because my hands are going to be just filthy anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get, i got to go over to the sink and get it, though. Um, I'm going to get a paintbrush or a toothbrush, an old toothbrush, and do some splatterage. Because I don't want big black splatters, but a few little black splatters would be nice, don't you think? Look away, Jean. Sorry. Sorry, dude. All right, where is my splatterage brush? You do it all the time, Painty? Good. Now I don't feel like such a damn goof. All right. Little splatterage like this. I don't think I'm going to add any more white. I think with the silver and the white, I've got enough. Um, I'm going to blow this. Nope, got your nose in your knitting. Okay, good. 
No, because I'm not as dumb as it looks. I'm going to clean this black ink up so I don't do that again. All right. Now, I'm going to heat set it real quick. I lean visions of Janet stuffing chocolates in my mouth. <laughs> I would sit and stuff chocolates in my mouth. All right. We're going to blow this dry real quick, and then we'll glue on the back. When you heat up that wax, oh boy, does it put off an odor. Vegivitamin, yeah. I'm not going to stomp any grapes, but I will drink for you. I'm not sure what I'm drinking, though. I haven't decided. I haven't decided if I'm going to buy the ingredients for the um, dancing, what was it? What was it again, Eileen? I wrote it down. If you heat the wax till it bubbles, it won't move. You forgot there was somebody. I wrote down two that you um that you recommended. One of them was dancing wenches or something like that. Um yeah. Well, let me go ahead and trim off. Maybe I'll ink the edges so you can see it out actually really finished. And I don't know if it's finished. I might add more. Hell, I don't. I never know. Never know. Sharp Exacto. Robert hasn't gotten a hold of my Exacto lately. So that's good. That trash I'm not saving. I don't care how much I lean wines. Just saying. Hey, Eileen, are you proud that I didn't get out my ruler to do this? It's making me a little bit nervous, but I didn't want to upset you on your happiest birthday. All trimmed off and nice. I think I will use 
Mm -hmm. Just thinking, wait till you do the piano hinge book. You have lots of little scraps to save. I don't think so. I don't think so. All right, I'm going to ink the edge. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out if I want to use an ink pad or if I just want to use some black ink. The black ink is going to be blacker, so I think I'm just going to go with the ink. Stamp pad would work, but yeah, I'm just going to use some black ink. And this little ink bottle, it, the plunger doesn't work, hasn't worked for years, but I just refill this with India ink and keep it close to my elbow. All right, I'll use a makeup wedge. That doesn't look very black either. Maybe I ought to get out the black acrylic. Yeah, because that's not very black. I don't like it. I want black. It's going to have to be black acrylic, I guess. Where the mark. Did you just clean up a spot of black to replace it with? Yes, Safi, I did. Um... Sometimes you don't know what you're going to do until you do it. But I just don't think that's going to be black enough. Oh, look how it seeped underneath there. That was cool. That was a bonus thing I didn't expect. I want it really black. And I'm trying not to get it on the inside cover, which probably I'm dreaming if I'm thinking I'm really not going to be able to do that. But. What the hell? Yeah, I'm putting it on pretty thick now with my finger, and this probably is going to work. Just going to take a while to dry it. Safi is sitting there thinking, girl has lost her mind. Watch, Sa Safi, I'm going to pour out some more, too. You are wearing similar to me at times. That's the kind of loopy thing I do. <laughs> if I let stuff like me, oh, my God, I'd have my panties in a wad from morning till night. I'm not kidding. My panties would never unwad. And look at how much I poured, which I know I can't possibly use that much. No worries, no worries. Can't worry about the small stuff, you know? It is what it is. The thing I do know is clean up wet ink. Are you going to have it everywhere? And I'm not going to do fine until the end. Right? I will have a black finger. I'll be like Colleen a week from now. I'll be bitching about my finger still being black. Oh, well. Yeah, the black does help. And that's, you know, it's not just gluing down the, the trash, which is fun. Um. The black always just totally sets it off. And now I'm kind of wishing I'd like to go in there and blacken the edges of some of the elements. But, yeah, I'm going to have to do that with something else. 
I'm going to have to really think about it. But yeah, I think I'll go in and blacken some of the edges of some of that. I don't know, but I might. Cardstock is hard to keep layered. Yeah, that's why some of this is cardstock, and you can see the um, the layers. I'll hold it up where you can kind of see. Here, up here, there's cardstock layered. Um, but it makes it feel really cool. Like when you get all the layers and you can touch it, it just starts feeling really cool. Like you can definitely feel the texture. It's not just looking like it, it's feeling it. All right. Let me hit this, the edges real quick, and we're going to move on. Won't take but a minute. Yeah, I like the texture too. I I don't think I appreciated when Eileen um, made me start doing this that um, that it would feel as cool as it does. I'm gonna go ahead and close. Well, I guess I could work like this, huh? Oh, I definitely don't want this on there though. You know what? I'm going to close it because I don't want the inside cover. Well, I might end up covering the inside cover. I don't know. I'm going to close it for now. I don't want it getting all nasty. Okay. Now we're going to go and glue some more. Clean up my um, little ink mess. And I know I'm going to put more down later, but that's a dangerous thing right there. Just saying. Far of our dangerous. All right. Baby wipe. I should make you guys save one of these and put it in your scavenger hunt. But empty baby wipe packaging. Hi, Lizbeth. The next kind are different. I hope I didn't buy scented. No, fragrance and alcohol free. Thank goodness. I cannot stand scented baby wipes. Ugh. They gag me. Okay. Here we go. Doing some junk down. I'll start with the same pattern that I did before with those little yellows, orange, green pieces up here. I wasn't organized when I started, and it's only going downhill. So... There you go. But I think by starting with kind of the same, the back and the front are never going to be the same, but of course, who's ever going to see them at the same time anyway, right? So who cares? Look, Eileen, I'm doing it in a straight line. I don't have very much orange. I used too much orange on the front. I may not have had as much as the others, so who cares? And that front cover did buckle a little bit. It's lightweight cardstock, I think, is what this is. The substrate is, um, but I'll just set it underneath some heavy books and let it sit for a few hours, and it'll be fine. <clears throat> I think the buckle will come right out of it. I don't even know if you see any of this original paper that I put on there anyway. I'll have to go back and look.
I like doing the deli paper and the um, tissue paper because it's fun to see the stuff underneath. Like when I put this down, um, you can see the green underneath. I like that, even though it's probably going to be covered. I'll never see that at the end of the day anyway. All right, I'm all out of that paper now, so I'm going to have to start adding other stuff. That was magicals that definitely moved. And that's okay. Oh, that blue really moved. All right, stop that. If I keep painting with that same blue, I'm going to contaminate the whole book. So got to clean it up right now. Heading into the same problem. I really did like that um, Kimmy tissue, though. Did we put magicals on? That was a good thing that day. I'm just going to put this whole thing down as one because I'll cover it. To get the blue magicals moving, definitely have to clean that up. Now I got matte medium on my arm. Uh, hi, Norma. You haven't been watching chat, so if you're talking to me, repeat it. Boy, the magicals really moved on that. <clears throat> We'll let that dry before we start messing in there. Cleaning it up. Now, it's one thing about using your trash is sometimes you don't know whether or not the product you have is going to move, so... Lessons learned. I don't think on trash art it matters. That's going to move or not. We're going to find out.
All right, let me find one of those bright, bright colors if I can find one. This one's pretty bright. That was pan pastels. I wasn't sure how it was going to do, but the pan pastels did pretty good. It looks like might have picked up some of the color, but not much. All right, I need some bright, I need clean matte medium, which I'm getting all over myself. <sighs> And some bright colors. Hopefully the magicals won't move anymore. I don't know who I'm kidding. I didn't dry my brush, so I got water here. Damn it. Excess water cleanup. I'm not buying those books that Colleen showed this morning. I'm not buying any books. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. I did get the, um, the skewers and the book binding kit the book binding kit is very nice for 10 bucks i was shocked how nice the book binding kit was i'll show it here in just a second so now you guys have to make that book so i get to use this crap i have wax linen and needles well i always had the needles but yeah now i've got all this stuff you better use it that's all I got to say. Here, I'll take a break right here and show it. That I want to use, but I'll use it later. Hang on. I don't feel like this is as bright a colors as the other side. And I think it's because my matte medium got muddy. But anyway, here, let me show it. <clears throat> the other day, I guess it was day before yesterday, I was sitting here. And I got an unexpected box. Oops, dropped one of those. Anyway, I got an unexpected box from UPS. Oh, I was going to show you guys how cute UPS guy is, too. He gave me a card. And Cooey had sent me. Hang on. Clean this up. Make sure I don't get any of this crap on my new crap. Anyway, Cooey sent me. 
um, this set of gouache. It's called Himmy. She did get it on Amazon. And there are all the colors that come in it. Okay, I guess it's this way. Yeah, you get two whites, a couple of yellows, a couple of reds, pink, purple, a few blues, some greens, and then browns and black. Um, and they're, this thing is really heavy, you guys. Like, I can't even, it's heavy. I can't even explain to you. But the, here, let me see if I can get one of them out. They're little cups of gouache. Can you see how big that is? She does send the best things. Kui does. She And she sends a little note that said, I thought this was cute. It's like, okay. She is. She is absolutely the sweetest little thing on the planet. So you get quite a bit of paint. I don't know if it's going to get a skin on it. Um, it this has been like uncovered for like two or three days and it's it doesn't seem to be drying. So I don't know if it's some formula that's going to stay moist. I don't know. But the colors are all really good. And then yesterday when we were working on Kathy's mitten painting, I don't know if you... Um, your gouache set is 13 months old, and first now I have started to dry out a bit. That container is seal-proof, and it will keep them most... Okay, cool. Well, these have stayed very moist, and I did use the white yesterday on that painting um, of Kathy's. So, um, and then, of course, I had to swatch them. But, yeah, this was... And it wasn't that much, you guys to get 18 colors of gouache. So, yeah, I have to say the cover is a little hard to get on, but this is heavy. Like, I couldn't even believe when I pulled it out. It was just like, holy crap, that's heavy. And then I got my own package, which was the, how does this keep getting down there? Oh, it's dried, I guess. And book binding kit. These are the dowels. Look at how many I have. I'll be able to make like a thousand journals or something. Like there's a lot of them in here. I'm probably not going to cook with them. I know that. But this is all the stuff you got in the book binding kit. Did I drop anything or did I pick it up? I guess I picked it up. Okay. So you get, no, there's another one of the threads, I think, that I dropped. Maybe not. I, I don't see it here. There's nothing else on my floor, so. But for 10 bucks, okay? This was only 10 bucks. You get the two bone folders, and they're not really bone, but they'll work for folding. I have a, a nice bone folder, so those are whatever. You get, I thought there was more thread than this but anyway you get five spools of thread one really big one I mean that's enough wax linen to last you a lifetime I'm pretty sure and the colors are really good you get the awl which I've always just used a needle but that's a pretty nice little awl and then a little container of needles and I don't know how many needles are in there it looks like one two three four five like six different size needles for 10 bucks. What that is a bargain, right? So yeah, I'm all ready for Kathy and Colleen's New Year's Eve journal. If you guys are still gonna do that, I I think you are. Did Eileen help you the other day when you guys did your private stream? Just don't want all that falling off so that was my um my new stuff yeah i got it on amazon jamie i just actually what i typed in when i was searching for it was just um wax linen i think is what i typed in and then the whole book binding kit came up so hi but jamie by the way um yeah so i was just like really psyched 
because like that's way cool for little money and I'll use it, you know? So that's the cool thing is it's not like it's something you use just once. I think I'll get a lot of use out of it. So I'm happy about it. Now, all those hundreds of skewers. No, I don't think I need a hundred skewers, but they weren't that much. I mean, did help. Yeah, I'm not surprised. You can do a 72-page journal. Okay. That'd be cool. I'm excited to do it anyway. And um, Jean Colleen, it's um, Kathy Bird has a channel on YouTube, um, does a lot of mixed media. And her and Colleen have been streaming together lately. And Colleen is the scrap chick. Um, and I'm not sure you can, she's that, so you can click on her name or just if you um, search her on YouTube, she should come up as Colleen, C-O-L-E-E-N. It's not double L's, um, caps, K-A-P-P-E-S. So check them out because, yeah, they're gonna, we're going to be having some fun with them New Year's Eve morning. Yeah, New Year's Eve morning. Don't we start in the morning? And then, yeah, I'm on late, late that night. I'm on um, midnight central time. And Eileen and I will be drinking. Eileen helped a lot. Cool. What the skewers are. Yeah, they're like kebab sticks. Um, Dorothy, that's what maybe, yeah, you guys may call them something different, but they're, um, they're for kebabs that you would put on the grill for sure, for sure. But they were pretty cheap too, but I'm not a real kebab person. I just fling the steak on the grill and eat it. Today's Friday. I get pizza, 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 and shaky milk. And if you think I'm not excited already, you are so wrong. Oh, and another thing I wanted to tell you guys. The other day, I was thirsty. Robert and I went into town to go to the post office. And um, I was thirsty. And so I said, pull into McDonald's and I'll just get an iced coffee. This I know is going to spread. That's all right. We're going to use it anyway because I like the color. Um, so I said, just pull into McDonald's and I'm going to get something to drink real quick. I was going to get a nice coffee. And so I ordered off the menu the ice caramel macchiato. You guys, do yourself a favor and get one. Honestly, they are flipping delicious. Well, if anybody needs skewers, tell me and I'll send you some because I don't need all. I think there's 50 in that package. But you guys go to McDonald's and get the caramel. Ice caramel macchiato. Oh, my God. It's like dying and going to heaven. It's as good as, I like the cappuccino from um, QT. If you live in the South, you have QTs. Um, and I like their frozen cappuccino, but that ice caramel macchiato is so good. Get one. That's all I'm going to tell you is just get one. You will love yourself and you can thank me later. That's all I'm saying. I want that right there, but, oh, it's so close to the spine. It's just not a good place for it, and I know better, so I shouldn't do it, right? Yeah, I know better. I shouldn't do that. And if anybody else had known about that karma macchiato thing before now and hadn't told me, I'm pissed off at you. You could have told me. 
I can't drink iced coffee. My coffee has. Oh, no, I can drink iced coffee. OMG, can I drink iced coffee? Love that stuff. Love it. Love it. Love it. That's boring. I need something more funner. More funner is a word. All right, I need something. I want stuff on this edge that I can go ahead and wrap around to finish the book. Um, but it's got to be lightweight. It can't be. Um, yeah, it can't be stiff because it's got to wrap around and be willing to give when I want to open and close the book. So that's what I'm thinking of right now. Oh, this is nice and bright. I like this. CB, you knew and you didn't tell me? Ugh. When you guys find stuff like that, you need to tell me. Because you've got to remember, I live, like, literally in the middle of nowhere. We do have a McDonald's and we have a Sonic. And I like the Sonic iced coffee very well. Um... But that McDonald's stuff, OMG, that just made me happy, really happy. And I was kind of pissed off at Robert because when we pulled in, I said, do you want anything? No, I'm fine. Then we're on the way home and I ordered some fries too because I never, we never eat at McDonald's. So I never get McDonald's fries and I like them. I ordered some fries and a caramel macchiato. And on the way home, he drank my coffee and ate my fries. Why couldn't he just order his own? Huh? Can you tell me that? Yeah, I want it there. So next time when I go to town by myself, I'm going to go there and I'm going to get it again and I'm going to have it all to myself and I'm not going to share. The only coffee I like is by Starbucks. And see, I don't like Starbucks coffee, I think. And I like strong coffee, but their coffee is just too strong. It tastes like mud to me. Plus, they're not embarrassed about asking what I consider to be a ridiculous amount of money. And I know a lot of people love Starbucks. I am just not a huge fan. I like Dunkin' Donut. Now, I love me some Dunkin' Donut. In fact, hot coffee, that may be some of my favorite. But I like McDonald's hot coffee, too. And now I sound like I'd go to McDonald's a lot, but I really don't. All right, looking down, seeing if I got. Don't share. How can you say no? Starbucks has a white chocolate caramel one also. Whipped cream on top. Oh, my God. All right, since we're talking about junk food, good junk food. <laughs> Dee Dee, if you're still here, close your ears because Dee Dee's on this eating healthy diet. I'm not sure what got into her knucklehead, but she's eating healthy. Um, Arby's has a, um, now Arby's is about the only fast food that I actually like. I enjoy their food, um, but they have a s'mores milkshake. O-M-G, is it good. It is really good. And now it sounds like I eat 
um, fast food a lot. And I really don't, you guys. I don't hardly ever go into town and eat fast food. Just don't do it. All right, I need some better circles around here. I don't know where all the good circles are, but I need them. Now the front, I did a whole lot more red on, didn't I? I wonder what happened to all my red. I might have used it all on the front. Uh. That's watercolor. I do remember that. And that is watercolor paper. So it's kind of thick. See, we can drink golden paints. It's all vegan. How the hell did you learn that, Eileen? I think I've used more circles on the back than I did on the front. Honestly, how would you find out that somebody's paint is vegan and what the hell difference does it make? Oh, cruelty to animals or something? I don't know. It's a crazy thing to know. I do know that. Here, here's some nice red. Okay, I like that. How do I want to put that? I want it in the center so it gets a lot of attention. Time to wash my brush again. I'm getting muddy. Golden tweeted it yesterday. No animals used in it. Well, that's a good thing. I, I never even thought about animals being used in my art supplies. Is that something I need to be worried about now? Oh, my God. Like, I got enough to worry about. I haven't even decided what my freaking pronouns are. I do like that. I'm not sure if I want it there, though, because I like those circles. Ugh. Here. Nope. That's too close to that. No animals used it. <laughs> All right, looking at this in the camera. Trying to decide. I'm going to put, try and get a couple more bright colors. This side doesn't seem as bright to me. All right, I need to put something up there and break up some of that, and I need something in there. Dark blue would be good, maybe. Well, that matches that. Oh, my God, it's hard being me right now.
Let me let that absorb some of that matte medium. Clean the brush again. I think it's been harder on this back side to keep my um, matte medium clean. Did you know that any paint that is called bone black is made from animal bones? I didn't know that, but I don't, I, I'm pretty sure that they buy the bones from, I mean, they're not killing animals to get the bones. They're using, I'm sure, bones from a butcher plant or someplace where I, I just don't believe that we could consider that cruelty to animals. I'm wrong and y'all can hate me later, but. Just saying, I'm pretty sure. Golden paints vegan for me. All color products include mediums and varnishings. I don't know. Now probably more paint companies will come out and say that they're also vegan, that they don't use animals because I can't think of any product that we use that has animals in it. And if you guys know any, probably just don't tell me. Especially if it's products that I like. <laughs> All right, that definitely looks like trash right there. Just looking now, deciding if I've got enough layers or do I want to add some more? All right, a lot of trash. This one just doesn't seem as bright. I don't know why. I'll have to brighten it. Some people are so vegan and need to know, hey, I like rabbit skin blue. I I don't know. Maybe I'm just so dense that I don't even know about these things, but I don't know. I don't think they're breeding animals to be used in art supplies. I could be absolutely wrong. I don't know. Maybe I just want to stay ignorant. All right. That one is going there for sure. I like that. Because I got a lot of circles on here, I'm going to break some of them up, I think. Oops, get back over there. Don't start messing with me now. I ain't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Looks cool. Ignorance is bliss. There you go, Kathy. Connor Neal Lovely Red is from Bugs. Well, that's okay because I'm not going to eat it. <laughs> All right. When I'm looking at the screen, I'm thinking I might have enough layers on here. There's some cool. Oh, I need something right there. I wish I had orange. E, I wish I had orange. Let me see. Oh, here's a red circle. That'll work.
I guess that space, I said I wasn't going to cover it up, and then I did. Okay, Jean, I guess you and I would have to agree. I don't believe in being cruel to animals. I don't believe in being cruel to humans or any other living thing. But if, if an animal's been killed in the process of making food, I think its bone should be used. How about that? Because, I mean, I do like glue. And glue is... manufactured from animals so all right that is just too dark I think too too dark okay I'll put this And after, say in the next day or two, after all this dries real good, um, I will go over the entire thing with another coat of matte medium just to seal it up. I could use varnish or anything else, but I'll probably just go over it with matte medium. Pro mostly because I like the matte finish. I don't necessarily care for... Um, a glossy finish, and I don't want that near the edge, so there's that. This will be fine. Bye, Kathy. Have fun with your son. I know you've got to be just so psyched. Yep. So, Eileen, tell us, what are you going to do with the rest of your birthday? This needs something over here. Okay, I've got buffering on my watching computer. Let me see if I go live. That fixes it. Okay, we're fixed. Cool. Yeah, I need something over here. And then probably start adding the extras and call it a day. That helped that, I think. Where else? Up here. I need to break that up a little bit. Those look like upside down peace symbols. And that I got to remember is going to be cut off and it's going to have black. So not much of it's going to be showing. So that's cool. Hi, Kathy. You got here. I'm just about ready to start doing some of the finished things on this and calling it a day.
than the back side did. All right, I just stuck in. All right, I'm going to hit this with the blow dryer or the heat gun. Watch papers fly everywhere. It's probably dry enough that I can keep working on it. I think, I think. Got to start cleaning up some of this trash, Eileen. Just snuck that in on you. Clean it on your work day. All right, let's stamp a little bit with the brown. I'm going to try and use the same elements that I used on the other side, right? Not that you'll ever see it, but so that it'll look like it matches. And you guys probably aren't even noticing the stamping. That looks cool on that. That's why I try and leave some really light places so I can add like the stamping and stuff like that. I think I'm done with that. Now I'm going to pour some black ink again. Well, I used, I remember I used the white paint or the white pen on this just to get a little bit of white in it here and there. Just thinking if I need to do that here. Might do it a couple places is all. I don't want that in my pen. It's still too wet. A little ridge of that, so definitely don't want to get my pen in that. I need to order some more of these. The Uniball Signo pens. I think this is my last one. And if anything happens to this one, I'm screwed. Can't think what else I want white, but I do want like two or three elements of white. Yeah, that may be it. This 
one's going to be hard to draw around because it's so thin. Come on, just a little bit. There you go. You guys probably aren't um, seeing much of that spray, but it makes a difference when you're sitting up close. Yep, Xander's streaming at 7 tonight. Why am I sniffling? Because I have allergies, Gene. I have allergies bad. And I'm such a dumbass that I won't make myself leave dairy products alone. So I sniffle. I'm not all emotional about Eileen's birthday. I've known she was old forever. This is not a surprise to me. And I don't like to take allergy medicine during the day because it kind of makes me sleepy. Actually, I didn't even know I was sniffling because my allergies are so much better today. I didn't even know that I was sniffling. All right. Let's put some red dots on here and there.
Very subtle, very, very subtle. These little makeup brushes are the best for putting this, um, a thin, thin layer of um, this wax down. They really are. I would recommend it to anybody. Now those look good because I put them on that white, you know, that light colored background. Where else are they going to look? Awesome. We'll put them here on the edge. That's probably good. Now, some silver ones. Some black edges. We may call this bad boy done. The wax, yeah, I'm taken from the lid. Yeah, now this one I've used everything out of the lid pretty much, so now I'm digging into the actual wax itself. But yeah, they like they are gonna go a long, 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 long way. I would not recommend taking your hand off the stencil when you're doing this. Um, but I did it, so shoot me, shoot me dead. I have not used these waxes in the beast yet. I'm going to have to figure out a way to do it though so I can see if the smell how long the smell lasts. Cuz if my beast could go around smelling this good all the time, I'd be happy. My beast doesn't stink, but it doesn't smell this good, I'll tell you that. I was kind of undecided about the silver, but I think I've decided that I like it. And I'm not putting a lot down, you know, it's small areas, mostly because the size of the journal cover is so darn small. I'm not sure how that's going to live there on this close to the spine either, you guys. After I'm done here today, I will let this sit for a couple of days before I ever even touch it again. Okay, I got one. Okay, uneven number. I don't know if anybody else still does that uneven number thing, but I do. Bye, Colleen. Go have a good afternoon. Because it's, what, 4.30 your time. Yikes. That's getting time to start worrying about cooking. Set that wax. And on the places where I stenciled it and it's real thick, I literally bubble it. To dry it. You do, Eileen? You count uneven? Yeah, I think it's just, I don't know, it's like old school craziness or something.
when you bubble it up, it doesn't it doesn't stay the perfect little circles. But um, yeah, I like the bubbles. Hi, Monique. By the way, I just saw you. Um, let me cut this, trim this out. <clears throat> I guess they look about the same brightness. I was a little worried, but no, they look okay. I'm okay. I'll be cool. I'll be cool. I still got to finish the spine as well. I just got to glue it. I'll just glue it over itself, but still got to do that. And then I'm going to say this is just about done. Cool. All right, I'll quickly glue this spine. And at this point, it doesn't really matter which um, is the front or the back, right? Because the inside pages are all the same. So I'm just deciding which paper I want to glue over. And I think I'm going to do the yellow circle, actually. Yeah, that'll be good. All right, real quickly, finish up this spine and ink it, and we're calling it a day. So what are you going to do the rest of the day, Eileen? Did you ever tell me? If it was me, I'd be sitting home watching TV. Or watching Netflix or whatever. I've done so good keeping my hands out of this matte medium. Now look at me. That I might have to um, put a clamp on to get it to decide to stay. I probably will, but that's okay.
water. That ink on this back side just ran. It's not dry enough yet. The edges are fine, but yeah. All right, that's going to stick. That'll be fine. I think I'll start collecting everything I will need to do Pam's book that Colleen is going to do. All right, somebody needs to, um, you'll eat and take a nap. Good girl. Um, somebody needs to put out a list of what supplies. Actually, when she read them this morning, it was like, well, since I got this book binding kit, I think I have most everything. It was like only, well, no, the one thing was the really large piece of paper. And I was thinking I needed to go down and, and measure and see if I don't have one that large downstairs. I think I do. But I'm not sure. Because what was the size of the sheet? 20 by 30 or something like that? Well, you better take a nap in a hurry because you got to be awake for Z, which is 7 Eastern. Oh, that gives you plenty of time. You can stay up late. Don't go anywhere yet, though. No, the Pam book, not the Skewer book. Yeah, no, I was thinking about the Pam book, too, the one she showed this morning that has the big sheet of paper that you fold. The one where she did her... Um, Saw portrait. I was there. I thought I was watching the same thing you were watching. Maybe I wasn't, but no, it was the one where she had the self portrait on one of the um, pages. And it looked to me like the um, the paper was really big, like 20 by 30 or something like that. And then um, you needed wax linen okay the big sheet will be cut up okay see that's what i didn't know well if you if the big sheet's going to be cut up i thought it was going to be folded if the big sheet's going to be cut up well hell you don't need a sheet that big you could use smaller sheets and cut them up right the finish size is eight by eight okay thanks cb that's kind of what i was thinking I'm going to go ahead and do this spine just because we can. I'm running out of black ink, and I really don't want to run out of black ink before I'm done here. I'm going to have to pour out a little bit more. Damn it. It is cut into 8 by 16. Okay, well, I know I have mixed media paper that big. Was it watercolor paper or does it matter what kind of paper? Because it sounds to me like I have everything I need then. And that's 10 times more ink than I need right there. But, oh well. Okay, hang tight for just a minute. Don't go anywhere. She used watercolor paper, but that is because her paints look great on watercolor. Oh, okay. Okay, but Jamie, um, I'll be right back, you guys. Don't go anywhere.
Okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. What else do we need to do on this thing? I'm thinking I need another big circle right there. Hey, precious Eileen. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, yeah, she heard you. It just takes a minute for... Download the Kindle book. It only cost me four bucks. For that book Eileen or Colleen was showing. Ah, uh, she said thank you, my sweet Robert. <laughs> You're very welcome. She's really old, Robert. <laughs> She's like really old. <laughs> really old. Well, I have no clue how old she is. I just know she's really, really old. <laughs> <Take this off. laughs> Janet, she's screaming at me now. <laughs> watch it. Yeah, CB chimes in and says, watch it, because CB <laughs> and her are the same age now. But honestly, I don't remember okay. ages. So she may not be even as, I don't think she's as old as you, frankly. Oh, no. Yeah, she would be a younger woman. Yeah. Yeah. You'd be robbing the cradle, Robert. Think so? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, she says I'm as old as CB today. And she's, then she's Dorothy, okay. Dorothy actually is probably the oldest of all of us. Janet, copper stick is out. She's about ready to beat me with the copper stick. <laughs> all right. So sweet Robert would be robbing the cradle there. Eileen. Shoot, I've been around since Hitler was a corporal. And Moby Dick was a minnow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Dot is our matriarch. Yes, she is. Older than dirt. Oh, I didn't say that. What have you done? I don't, you haven't done anything, Lizbeth. I just had to make sure that Mr. Vaughn wished his precious Eileen a happy birthday. Look at my hands. Ugh, I'm already cleaning up. So that was my trash journal art cover. I love these. I just think they're so colorful and bright. I never would have saved my trash. Never. Robert, the peony, peony bush slayer. Yeah, there you go. That's why Dee Dee calls him Edward Scissorhands. Because he mows down my bushes. All right, Lena, I don't need any comments from the peanut gallery. That's okay. Maybe it won't come back next year and we won't have to argue about it again. Edward Scissorhands. Yeah, that's what Dee Dee calls him. And what else? She seems in... Um, Oh, I can't think right now. I'll think of it later. Anyway, there's the trash cover, trash art. So start saving your trash, guys, because you can end up with something really cool like this. I'm going to count the sheets, and I may end up um, using it for the scavenger hunt. Eileen, are you going to do the scavenger hunt this year? Thanks, Pecola. I love the trash covers, too. They just come out so fun. Um, are you going to do it, Eileen? Maybe. Okay, here, I'll make you a deal, Eileen. You probably say yes and then just change your mind anyway because you're such a pain in my ass. But um, if you promise to do the scavenger hunt this year, I'll send you this. But if you're not going to do it, you can't have it. Right, she'll agree. I thought Robert had all his hair. Cheap joke. 
<laughs> we'll see what she says. She's not really going to do it. She's going to lie to me. Mm, well, now she's reconsidering. But the thing is, Eileen, if you say you're going to do it, I'm going to ask for proof. I really am. I don't lie. You just fib. You Being a fib and lying are not the same thing, Eileen. Not the same thing at all. Oh, you don't have to be sorry, Elizabeth. It's all good. At least two prompts. Oh, Lena, you're so lenient. I was going to say if you'll just do even half of them. Like if I if we do 70, if you do 35. Why don't you just say yes or no you want it? Because I know you're just going to sit there and lie to me anyway. Geesh, Lena, more. See, CB agrees with me. You can't go around being all that lenient. I mean, there has to be some standards around here. I mean, it, like when kids, you tell kids to do the dishes, they don't get to do just their dishes. They have to do everybody's dishes. Okay, then I'm going to stick it in an envelope and send it to you. And happy birthday. And you've got other stuff coming, so... Um, you just need to look in your mail, all your mail. See, that's just it, Lena. Yeah, if one prompt said glue something together, she'll glue the whole glue the whole damn book together and call it done. She needs to trim her nails. Oh my god. All right, she's gonna at least try. I'm gonna make her post. Like, I don't know how I'm going to enforce that, but yeah, I mean, you need to post some of your um, scavenger hunt. I'll get it in the mail. What's today? Today's the 13th. Oh, hell, I got two weeks to get it there. All right. So this is this is going to Eileen. And it's really nice, Eileen, because the it's got the dot grid. Yeah. So I'm going to send it to you. And you're going to do the scavenger hunt this year. Toenails. Ugh. <laughs> All right, you guys. Eileen, really, I hope you had a really happy day. I'm glad you let me spend it with you. Um, we'll do it again next year. Um. Your sweet Robert just went out and got the mail from my sister-in-law. Huh? It's from my sister-in-law. So, um, yeah, go take your nap, and we'll see you guys at Z's house at 7 o'clock Eastern. Xandra is Scraps to Beauty, Xander Kudney, C-U-D-N-E-Y, if you want to look her up, and you guys can hang out with us again. So we'll see you at Xandra's. Thanks again. Happy birthday, Eileen. I love you, girly. Later, Gators.